Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create isometric shapes in mere seconds. So, I've talked previously about creating isometric illustrations in Illustrator on this YouTube channel, and what you would mostly do is create an isometric grid here, and then just start drawing your shapes on this grid like this. Very easy. There you go, you have your isometric shape. You can copy it, right click, transform, reflect, and you have this one. All right, there you go. But there's an even faster way to create isometric shapes, and that is by using actions. I'm going to delete these. I'm going to window, go to actions, and then I have my isometric action here, which I've created myself. And this will be a free download in the description box down below. So what you need to do is download this isometric actions uh, plugin thingy I created. Open Adobe Illustrator folder, go to presets, and US actions and then I placed it in there and then if you go into Illustrator you can go here and click on load actions Then you can place this one in here and you can use this as a pre-recorded action which I created for you for free so go to the download link in the description box below and use this because what you can do with this is if I just create this square and then click on isometric right hit play boom it makes it square on the isometric right side of this grid and if I delete that, and if I create this shape, and go to isometric left, hit play, it plays that action, and then it on, it's on the left side. So let's just recreate this building real quick. Preferably, I would create something like this, uh, mostly on the grid, just hand drawing every shape. But for the purpose of this video, I will do everything with these actions. So let's first create this big shape, and let's go to the left here. I'm going to hold Option and Shift, drag it to the right, right click, transform, reflect, hit enter. I'm going to paste that over there. And then I'm going to create this square and go to isometric top. Place that at the bottom here. Let's do this quick and dirty. Right click, transform, reset bounding box. So we have this straight bounding box here. Holding shift and dragging it out to make it a little bit bigger. Place it down a little bit. And then I'm going to move this up here. And then I'm going to quickly hand draw these shapes here. Right, and then this one. I'm going to select all of these shapes here I created. And then I have them all. Yeah, press Command G to group them. All right, let's give it the same color as this though. There you go. Then we have these windows. And what the real cool thing about this is if you create your uh, rectangular shape here and just round out these top corners like that. I'm going to drag this up while holding Option and Shift to make it go perfectly uh, straight here and uh, option to make a copy and select both of them and then go to my divide tool in my pathfinder and select this one with your white arrow and delete that then we have these two shapes i'm going to draw this line here like that and then i'm going to select these both of these shapes hit divide again and we have one two and three shapes here and then i'm going to place this line in here and maybe this one as well. Uh, drag them up and then press Command D two times. Let's place that at the line here. Okay, great. Select all of them and group them. Command G. And then isometric left, please. Boom. There you go. We have our isometric window. Really easy. Scale it down a little bit. And then I'm going to drag that over here. How did I create this? Ah. Let's select these points with your white arrow. Drag them down a bit. All right, you can delete this one. How many windows are on that side? Okay, delete this one. Then we have this um, billboard thingy here. So that's also really cool. You can just create your billboard like laid out flat like this. And then just drag that over there. Let's do, do it to the left here. Yeah, and then put it behind it. And then I'm going to use that to create these shapes. Okay, select these three, Command G, then you can delete that one, and then isometric right, boom, there you go, really easy. And then I have my Camp Keyframe logo here, and you can, uh, let's drag that over here, we'll make a copy of it, and also give that isometric right, and then it also puts that in isometric perspective. Really nice. 
All right, and then we have these these two things here. So if I just create this circle like this and then go to isometric left, boom, put that there and that one over there. So they're nice and aligned on the, on the grid. I'm going to create this shape in here to combine the both of them. Select them all and press your, uh, your Pathfinder, your Unite. I'm going to scale that down a little bit. Place that behind everything here. Something like this. Select all of them, press Command G. And then, boom. Place them on there. It's a bit big now, but okay, it's just show you how, how this works. Let's quickly create these bricks here. And give them the same as this. Little rounded corner here. And then isometric left, boom, and just copy, um, select them both, press Command G, and I go into this group so now they're isolated so I cannot select anything else. And then drag that over there and zoom in and just maybe make this one a bit smaller. Okay, even smaller as well like this. Doing all this with while holding option and dragging them. Okay, we got some bricks going. All right, and the other side is also two windows. So uh, drag them over here by holding option and shift. Right click, transform, reflect, boom, hit enter. Okay, and we have this really big thingy over here. So let's create this billboard. Do the same thing as the other one. But now to the right side. So it's just reversed. Okay, select both all three of these shapes, command G to group them, delete this one, and then isometric right, because this needs to be on the oops, sorry, <laughs> on the left. There you go. And then we have uh, this text. This is just a text layer. Uh, this can be uh, anything. Anything, yes. And then we can just do it like that and then make that also isometric left. There you go, boom. And this is still editable, whoops, editable text. So I can just type in here if I want. Really nice. And then I can copy these ones here. Right click, reflect, right. Boom, that's Command D to repeat your last action. Select all of these, Command G, place them here, and then Command Shift and bracket to place them all on top. And then we have this door here, which is the same as the, as the window, only I just removed these parts and added this little circle. And then let's quickly create these stairs, which is also really easy. Just create this square here, like that. Drag that over there. Boom, 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 boom. And create, fill this shape up here, holding shift here, boom, and turn it aligns. Oh, make it close. Select everything and go to your pathfinder and go to unite. And I'm going to drag this over here while holding option and shift to make a copy and make it go perfectly straight in a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to draw these shapes here, these stair shapes, like that. And then you can copy this shape while holding option and shift and drag it over here till it fits on that line. And then press Command D a couple of times. All right, nice. And then let's do this one as well. Close this up and drag that over there. And then press Command D as well here. Boom. So we have this whole thing. Select all of them, press Command G. And then we're gonna go to isometric left, hit play. And there you have your stairs and then just um, reverse it, right click, transform, reflect. Boom, it is reversed. And then we have our little stairs here. And if I select these points here and these ones, I can just, yeah, those ones, I can drag them out and make them a bit longer just to make sure you stay on this same line there. I'm just doing it again really quickly right now, quick and dirty. So here you go, you have your stairs. And then you can place your uh, door on top of that if you want and place some more bricks on it. And that's how you create this very easy isometric shapes 
within just a couple of minutes uh, with these isometric actions. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Download to the isometric actions in my description box down below. And thank you for watching. I hope to see you on the next camp keyframe. Thanks. Bye bye.